Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a fluid art mountainscape and the inspiration is the beautiful mountains of western North Carolina and I'm doing this in honor of a woman we affectionately called Mama Evelyn. Um, this was my um, husband's grandmother and she was known by everybody as Mama Evelyn. Now I wanted you to see here a little bit of how I'm doing this kind of dirty pour uh, for the flip cups that I'm going to do uh, for the sky. I'm putting the deeper blue as being the dominant color in that first cup um, with some of the lighter sky blue and some of the white and a little bit of silver. And now this is the cup that's going to be closest to the horizon line so it has more dominance of the lighter blue and white and a little bit of a yellowish white that will be hopefully around the horizon line and you see that I showed you there um, you kinda when you do these paintings need to have a plan of like how I'm gonna layer my cup colors and in what you know thirds or fifths of the painting in this case fifths because I'm gonna have five uh, cups total for these flip cups and I'm doing my sky first um, before I try to tackle the mountain range below and so you see me kind of flipping and dumping the cups and kind of dragging the cup along I gotta you know obviously torch off the air bubbles and then kind of stretch off that sky to the top portion and as you can see, now I have a little bit of a deeper blue at the top portion of the sky and lighter blue towards the bottom. And there's also a little bit of silver mixed in there because I find the silver does a really nice job with the white and kind of creating these kind of hazy, uh, billowy cloud um, formations that you can get in there. Really does give the um, idea of clouds. And I'm just trying to get this stretched off and kind of evened out so I can even it out um, across before I start to do the flip cups for the mountain range. As you can see, I've gone in here with my squeeze bottle of white uh, and done some bands of white along the horizon line and that's kind of to give you the semblance and idea of those kind of clouds that hang around the horizon line uh, and here you see me blowing them out um, you know so you get those kind of idea of clouds that hang you know in that kind of horizontal fashion around where the horizon line meets um, you know in this case will be the mountains so um, that's why you see me doing that there um, with my squeeze bottle and now I am flipping the cups for my mountains and I'm doing this in a way that's a little different whereas I'm staggering them um, because I'm gonna take the top one to the to the right and I'm gonna take the far, the second one in to the left and then I'm gonna take the bottom one into the right also kind of trying to weave them and overlap them kind of the way a mountain range would um, so you can hopefully when we stretch around start to get the idea of these shapes um, kind of overlapping uh, for the mountain range and hopefully I can get some mountain range shapes and I start out with this idea because it's not always going to work out as perfectly as that sounds but at least if I have a foundation to go on it makes um, you know getting these shapes a little bit easier in the end as you'll see I take my popsicle stick and I really start to, to delineate the horizon line with these mountain shapes knowing that I'm going to be tilting them severely and so some of what you see here isn't going to stay with the painting but at least I'm starting to get some idea of you know somewhat mountain type shapes uh, starting to develop and I have to put a little bit of flow extender on this right side and then you'll see me do the same thing on the left side just to get the image to kind of move freely enough uh, you know that I can get the movement to tilt off as as freely and as easily as I need to As 
As I said earlier, this painting is dedicated to the memory of uh, Mama Evelyn, who was my husband's grandmother and my mother-in-law's mother. Um, she was an amazing woman, and she, I feel like, I've been together with my husband, we've been together uh, 25 years, going on 25 years. Uh, we haven't been married that long, but that's how long we have been together. And so I feel like Mama Evelyn kind of knew, even though she's not a, you know, her generation is maybe not considered as progressive as maybe even my mom's generation or um, my mother-in-law's generation. But I feel like she kind of knew, and Rodney and I have talked about this, that we were together. Um, I mean, we were best friends. We still are. But I think she kind of knew this um, before we had really even told anyone. And she always made me feel um, accepted and loved. And so she's a very special lady and we really miss her. We've been without her for about two years now. Um, but I, I know she would have really liked this painting since it was based on those mountain views from uh, around where her house was and um, Rodney's parents house a lot of those pictures were taken off the deck there and so we have a lot of fond memories um, so yeah this is um, this is for you Momo Evelyn and um, I'll let you listen to some music and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what's going on and and I'll show you and talk to you a little bit more in just a second about how I'm going to do a couple of things, not only with just with the foreground, but also with the sky. So the music choices that you hear in this video are also inspired by Mama Evelyn. Uh, Papa Jim used to play the banjo and dobro and Mama Evelyn and he like both loved uh, country and bluegrass music so that is why these music choices are not what I normally choose but I feel like they go with the mountains and um, this is in honor of Mama Evelyn. Now a lot of what you see me doing in this um, fluid art mountainscape is really inspired and actually learned from Chris Schneider. Uh, I love watching her um, videos and if you haven't checked her out before please visit Chris Schneider Art. Uh, she does amazing fluid art landscapes and I had a lovely conversation with her not long ago on the phone. She's in England and um, she's so lovely and caring and giving like she's a great mentor and loves to share um, Kind of her knowledge of fluid art landscapes and uh, I have a commission coming up so she's a person that I reached out to um, and she's just a lovely person and um, an amazing artist if you haven't checked her channel out please go to Chris Schneider art and check out her uh, fluid art landscapes they're just incredible Just wanted to take this time to remind everyone Julie E had a live premiere at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's Julie E with acrylic painting with Julie E check out her video and her channel um, after me is Angie Mason fluid art and I know Angie has something great for you this evening and she will be doing live premiere at 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and after her will be K and K create they'll be doing their live premiere at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know that'll be really special and they'll have something awesome for you to see and I can't wait to see what they've got um, planned for this evening so be sure and check them out. You see me using the lip of the cup here to kind of give the shape to the far distance set of mountains, the set that looks like it's kind of the lightest and it's out there in the you know the furthest distance and then I'm shifting around a bit 
and even the lip of the cup is sometimes easy you know I use the stir stick a lot and there you see me using the uh, to delineate some of the shapes of the mountain ranges overlapping each other but sometimes the lip of the cup works just as well if not better Now that I worked the mountain range uh, for a little while, you see me, I wasn't completely happy with the sky. Uh, and in these fluid art landscapes or seascapes, sometimes it's that way. You've worked one portion of the, either the foreground or the sky, and then you have to kind of go back and take care of maybe adding, in this case, I'm adding some white and then blowing it out um, with the air tube. And I wanted to create some more cloud formations that gave the sky a little bit more interest. And in a second, you're also going to see me go back and pour another cup for the sky and then just kind of dump it and kind of work it from side to side to give me um, kind of a, a, a sky that has a little bit more interest, a little bit more natural looking kind of clouds. And, but in doing these kind of clouds that I'm blowing out right here that look a little bit literal right now, um, after I dump the cup over them, they really, it all kind of comes together and you get a, a better sky that has more interest and looks a little bit more like, you know, the cloud formations in the sky kind of naturally how they look. I wish I could freeze this moment, just never let it end. Now you see here I'm dumping the cup that I was telling you about and I just kind of dump it straight across those clouds that I had just put down and blown out. Um, but as you can see it's already starting to work. It's starting to make a much more interesting sky. Um, just because with doing my mountains and tilting back and forth for you know such a good amount of time I had lost a little bit of you know what was interesting about this guy um, because a lot of the white that was forming clouds had gotten tilted off so sometimes you just got to go back in dump another cup and put that back so you get more of those cloud shapes and more of what you're looking for for your sky Mama Evelyn would approve of this painting. I think she would really like it a lot and uh, we really miss her and but every time I'm back there 
um, where she lived and where Rodney's parents live and every time I'm on that deck and I look across the mountains I know she's still with us and it makes me smile and yeah we, we really love and miss her and this is dedicated to her memory and I hope that you've enjoyed um, watching this fluid art landscape uh, mountainscape take shape and come to life and I hope you've enjoyed this and as always I've really enjoyed my time together with you and please stay tuned and please check back to my channel and I can't wait until I see you again and we have some more fun pouring together.